morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. Welcome back to another edition of Graphics Card Nightmares. Is your boy JJ with you? We're going to get some B-roll started. And do enjoy the next little bit right here on JJ's PC Builds. <laughs> to see y'all good to see y'all this is gonna be like a spectacular we'll see if it's spectacular but we'll try to make it spectacular right here and we're gonna bring it on up this is we're gonna take a run down to new egg here we go we're at new egg let's see what they got going on for the deals of the nightmares of this evening well, they got the 3060 for $379. Looks white. And, you know, to me, that looks like an off brand zoo to me for $379. It's the 3060, 12 gigabytes. Uh, no, that right there is a ripoff deal. Let's see, what else does Newegg have? that's worth any interest well they say they got the 2060 for 219 no no that that right there that's I that's a nightmare no uh-uh the mill z 100% 2060 super 8 gigabytes PCI 3.0 for 209 come on new egg Come on, you know you can do better than this. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's it. That's all they got for components. Well, it looks like I ain't got much for you because Newegg don't look like they got much for us. Um, let's look up GPUs. And see if they got anything that's worth mentioning. Alrighty. Let's see. We found some more GPUs. They got the 580, the 8GB, 256-bit GDR5. For $119, sale ends in 5 hours. Now if you got 119 bucks for that, and good luck to you because, eh, no. I say that because even though it's eight gigabytes and you know it's still they're gonna rank that card out of date so drivers and stuff will discontinue for this card soon so there's no sense of me getting it and it's not worth it's not worth it and unless they show something better that's about this card that's worth getting but I don't see anything worth getting. Uh, Seven oh five ninety nine? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not going to pay seven hundred and five dollars for a card that's only worth a hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, seriously. And the thirty sixty for three seventy nine. Do y'all see the price difference? Now they got the they got the 3070, the OC version, eight gigabytes for seven hundred and five dollars. You know, and they got right here the 3060 for three seventy nine. That is a big price jump, just for one card. And hell no. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just gonna give a hell no to this. I mean, look at this. I mean, this right here, this 580, you know what price this should be at? This price right here? This this card should be at about $69 by now. 
because you know if you look at it this is the year 2022 and you got a couple year old card there I mean even the one gigabytes are going for the same price this is where you know this is where the nightmare begins for people consumers that are trying to buy a decent graphics card and you all come up with this shit okay understand what I just said you can do better than this and truthfully any company can do way better than this I mean look at this the 6600 it's not the XT version it's the 6600 for 239 you can get the XT version for the same price somewhere else let's see we got the 6900 XT for 869 come on guys you're talking about a $300 card you're selling for $869 come on knock knock hello that's a little bit pricey look at this $93 card right here $550 4 gigabytes $93 for a 4 gigabyte card okay that's a China based card because look at it it's China based and it's not worth buying $49 right here 2 gigabyte GDR3 64 bit 49 bucks that card should that card right there should only be priced at 20 bucks I mean that's why that's why I call this graphic card nightmare because you see what the nightmare is is the overpriced cards that nobody calls you know there's some people that call out these companies but not all of them call out the companies like they should like this 1060 192 bit 3 gigabyte GDR5 134 okay come on 3 gigabytes I could do better with my iGPU than this especially with the speed okay guarantee that I'm gonna get with with my iGPU I'll probably get more cores and frame rates and everything else with my iGPU than you would this $134 cart. Because it's not, that's something I wouldn't say is good for anything other than basic gaming. You know, really basic gaming. You know, and they got a 38, 3080 right here for 879 Come on, guys keep let's keep rolling down the road let's see the 2060 for 219 I'm sorry that's just way too high that should be less than 150 bucks in my in my books you have to understand something one I'm going to explain at the end my final thoughts of all this and why this is becoming a pain and with something looming around the corner next year is going to be a really bad year buying a gpu i can already see this now so and when i mean bad i mean bad i mean guess what's looming around the corner you know they're going to take neck by next year they're going to take the used cards they're going to jack them up double they're going to cut the used cards are going to cost as much as the new card MSRP price right now and the new cards they're going to be double what the MSRP price is going to be in the future you know I mean you're already seeing it right here and this is I mean Nvidia should know better and you know they don't listen they just want to keep the prices up they don't care about the consumer if they really did then they would have got in touch with me and said hey look you know we really care about the consumer we're gonna do this for the consumer you know we're gonna bring prices down a little bit you know because this is the holiday season and it's gonna be fair which I don't foresee that happening anytime soon so you guys wanted to see real-time prices here real-time prices MSI gigabyte MSI gigabyte 
Look at this. More prices. This is, I mean, this is what these retailers are selling this for. I mean, they're selling a 3050, which, you know, not even my grandmother would buy, you know. And they're selling the 6600, but not the XT version. I mean, for 200 bucks, the 6600 XT would be perfect for 200 bucks. You know, but you're telling me a 480 for 1690 Look at this. $1,698. That's not what they were selling it for MSRP. The MSRP is only $1,200. Can you all wake up and smell the coffee? Obviously not. Obviously not. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit more to make everybody wake up until this nightmare just keeps a rolling and keeps a rolling. Look at this. You all think these prices are cheap? You really all think these prices are cheap? Let's go through one more page of prices you all are going to be hating. Okay, look at this. 3080 Ti for the win. $1,580. I mean, 400 bucks right here. 6700 where, where do you see the prices coming down anytime soon in new egg new egg ain't got no new prices they just got old of new prices basically direct from the direct from wherever they get it from look at this 256 bit 580 1660s these are the these these 10 series cards are the ones that they're using you know the ones that they're using for less than 200 bucks and nobody wants the 10 series for less than 200 bucks why don't you try like the 20 series for less than 200 bucks i mean try that on for size you're gonna get a 1660 super and then or a 1650 come on that's that's just robbing somebody and you're gonna get a 4080 for 1700 bucks look at this a 4090 you're gonna spend 30 thirty three hundred dollars well MSRP was only 1500 so you do double and guess what now you're selling it for double and that's a founders edition this is this is crap and you know people don't call you out because they're afraid to call you out i don't i don't care i'll call you out because i call you out you know and if the prices look wrong then you know and like with nvidia amd you should tell your those aib partners you know kind of chop the prices stop making it overrated and you know this is the reason why i don't me myself i would never ever buy anything thing off a new egg and this is the reason why see all these nonsense prices these these are this is the reason why i don't shop on new egg at all is because of all this nonsense i mean i mean who's going to buy a 710 two gigabytes that has no features no nada and barely has any cores you know and it's outdated it's been expired and when I mean by expired when they say they're expiring a certain video card that means end-of-life drivers that means they don't make new drivers for it anymore so it's not really worth the hassle to buy a card that's end-of-life now this is my conclusion this is my conclusion we're gonna get down to the conclusion real quick okay one I'll never shop at Newegg is because their prices are ridiculous you know and the, I don't see nothing sensible about Newegg and this is the holiday season and I would have recommended Newegg but I don't see anything that's really worth worth the moment of mentioning on this channel i really didn't see nothing really worth of anything you know as far as coming down to um 
video cards or anything else I really don't see anything now I might I might go over there to eBay and start looking for secondhand stuff because obviously with what's coming what's looming up uh, China doing a markup of 25 to 30 percent on all products they ship out of their their country due to the tariffs it's just it's it's going to be nonsense to buy new after the 31st of December so in 2023 expect all the prices to be jacked up higher than what it is now so I did a video yesterday stating that it prices are down a little bit but the prices are starting to rise as we get closer to Christmas Day and the closer we get Christmas Day, the closer the prices are going to start jacking up. So if you're going to get something, you best to get it within five days. As if not, prices are going to start the rise and then you're going to be upset and say that it's all my fault. Which it's not. I know it's not my fault. But I'm just saying. But anyway, this is the nightmare of the night and I hope you, I hope you sleep well because I don't want you to have any sleeping nightmares because that'll really make your day and it just ain't worth it. but anyway if you like my videos make sure you like and subscribe mainly subscribe and watch the videos from beginning to end we're still trying to get up to 4,000 hours and we're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers so we can reach our goal and the further we get towards our goal the better we're gonna be so make sure you subscribe it would be much appreciated and on leaving on this note, this is JJ, your boy. We will see you on the next video.